So today we are going to install an August Wi-Fi smart lock with a door that uses a Euro lock cylinder similar to this one. Typically, standard Euro lock has a round tail end that will not work with smart locks. So we will be replacing the entire lock cylinder with this adjustable Gerda Euro lock from Dana Lock. Let's look at what is inside the box. The lock set comes with the expandable adapters, a serial card, the Euro lock cylinder itself, and three keys. Now let us look at the smart lock package. So the lock package comes with the smart lock itself a short startup guide, a metal face plate that looks like this and you can choose not to install it. It also has a door sense inside the box and the mounting hardware that needs to be installed on your door. Let me get that out. Okay, it looks like this. There is a pack of colorful lock adapters and you will need to select one that will fit nicely with your Eurolock tailpiece. I have selected the yellow one as the shape of the adapter seems to be the best fit. This is how it should look like when it fits. Now we will be removing the existing lock cylinder from our door. A standard door will have at least 3 screws and you will need to identify the screw that is holding the cylinder in place. Remove the screw completely or else you will not be able to extract the lock cylinder. Place your hand on this side of the lock and shake the lock a little bit to extract the cylinder out. Now we will need to adjust our new lock to match the length of the old lock. Take note that the length on both sides is important or else it will not fit back into your existing door. As our lock is short, we will be removing all the extra brass spaces on the new lock. After all the spaces are removed from the lock, we find this piece a little fragile and flimsy. Let's test this out with a key to ensure that the lock is still functional before proceeding further. Okay, it appears that the black piece is still moving. Now, to remove the remaining spaces on the other side of the lock, we will need to use an Allen key to unscrew the brass spaces that is attached to the lock. There is a total of 4 screws that is attaching the spacer to the lock, so you will need to flip the lock to remove the remaining 2 pieces of screw on the other side. Once the last screw is removed, the brass spacer will be pushed out by the spring. And all you need to do is to remove the brush spacer completely from the lock itself. Mm -hmm. 
Let's compare the length of the new lock with the old lock. As observed, the length seems to be perfect without the spaces, so we will need to remove all spaces from the other side of the lock. So similarly, we will need to remove two screws from each side of the brass spacer. This side will be a little harder to remove as it doesn't have spring so you will need to remove the inside piece and use a little bit of force to remove the brass spacer just like this. Now we will need to take a new inside piece the shortest one in this case to install into the lock assembly itself. To ensure that the spring is flexible, we decided to put this piece on the spring side itself. While holding the inside piece, put the two pieces of the lock together. Let's compare the lock again before putting in the screws. Okay, it seems that the length matches perfectly now. Using one hand to clamp the lock in position, put back the screws with the allen key. Similar to how we have removed the brass spacers, we will need to put back four screws, two on each side, to fully assemble the lock together. Before fully tightening the screws, we should test the lock with the key one last time. What we need to ensure is the black piece in the center is able to turn as this is critical to lock your door. Now that the function of the lock cylinder has been checked, let's put in the last screw and tighten all the screws. Let's do the final adjustment of the line by putting in the shorter spacer available. The pack comes with different lengths of Phillips screws. In this case, we will be using the shortest Phillips screws. Now that the lock is ready, let's look at the lock adapter again. Let's take out the yellow adapter. The end that has a gear-like shape will need to be fitted into the smart lock, while the other end of the adapter will go into the Euro lock cylinder. And we will need to cut off the excess metal that is protruding out of the lock. Now let's remove the face plate from the door so that we can install our new lock cylinder. 
simply slot the cylinder into the space just like this take the new long screw that is supplied together with the new lock and screw it into the existing hole to mount the new lock on your door now check that the cylinder is properly installed to ensure we can see both ends of the lock To ensure that the length is correct, let's take the yellow adapter to do one last measurement. Count the number of metal pieces that is required to be cut off and using two plier holding one side of the metal and using another plier to twist and turn the piece until it breaks. If you have done it correctly, this yellow piece should completely cover the metal piece, just like this. We will need to remove the old metal plate in order to install the new hardware mount. If you have installed the hardware mount correctly, it will look something like this. As we decided not to install the faceplate, there is a little gap in between the hardware mount and the door. Let's mount the smart lock now. After securing the lock on the door, ensure that the lock is able to be turned manually. Now install the door sense onto the door frame. It's time to power up the battery. Remove the lock cover just like this. And pull this plastic tab. The green light will blink, indicating that the smart lock has powered up.
Now let's go to the August app. I have already set up the home so I am ready to set up the device. Choose the smart lock and the type of smart lock. Now let's get started. To start, you'll be required to scan the barcode at the back of the faceplate of the lock. Follow the instruction on the screen. It is checking to ensure that you have mounted both the lock and the door sense. Now hit begin setup. Once the lock is detected, you can either create a new house for the lock or add the lock to an existing house. Now we will need to wait for the app to finish configuring the lock. Now that the updates are completed, you will be asked to calibrate the lock by locking the door first. It is again checking that your door sense has been installed before the calibration can start. After calibration is completed, you will be asked if you would like to set up HomeKit. Skip this step first as sometimes there is a no response issue with HomeKit setting up in this stage. As the device does not support 5G Wi-Fi, we need to make sure that our phone is connected to 2.4G at this stage. Once the Wi-Fi setup is completed, the lock will come online. We can go to the lock settings to make changes to the lock name and now set up the home kit. When setting up the home kit, you'll be asked where the lock is and scanning the home kit code as per other home kit devices. We will now test the lock using the app first to ensure that the locking mechanism is working before proceeding to the home kit. Now let's go to the home kit. It is important that we test the lock with both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to ensure that the home kit is able to lock and unlock the door. At this stage, if you have issues with your Bluetooth, you might need to restart your phone and your Bluetooth device. Now we have completed the setup for our August Smart Lock. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to my video.